Okay, first game off the rank. We are playing a PlayStation 1 import game called Get 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 Kitaro. Where'd you get the game from? Uh, so it was purchased earlier this year uh, in Japan uh, at a book off in respect. Uh, yeah, was it in... Um, I can't remember which one. Was it the one in Akabakura? Yeah, Akabakura. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's a game that I'd sort of tracked on eBay for years to sort of sell for, you know, up to 300 Australian dollars. Um, and I uh, have to find a copy on the shelf at a book off in Japan, Tokyo. Uh, but about sort of 90 to $100, so yeah, really good price, um, and a game I was happy to jump on board with, uh, that price point. So yeah, so a little bit history of the game, maybe, it's, uh, it's yeah, based it's on a based manga? On a, manga? Uh, yeah, manga, Japanese manga from the 60s, um, and uh, it's obviously a beloved franchise over there with, you know, multiple sort of animes, you know, manga, books, uh, games, toys, you name it. Uh, this is one of the sort of last games made in the series in 2003. But uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a platformer, um, uh, a pretty hard platformer yeah. from memory when we last played it. Um, yeah, almost in the vein of Ghouls and Ghosts mm. or something. And uh, the main character, they're not knowing a lot about the manga, yeah, the character is Kitaro. Kitaro in English, Kitaro of the Graveyard, so my assumption is that he is some sort of like head. Yeah, he's not getting from the graveyard. 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 Yeah, he's not getting from the Hmm. Sort of alternative fruits you can uh, pick some dishes from the ladder. Found some of those green stages kind of like just mm. a. They sort of made you run through them every time. Yeah, yeah. 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 get from A to B. Yeah. Yeah. If you accidentally pick the wrong one, you're not going to Remember, that was one of the boss fights, wasn't it? Or... That's one. That's one stage, and then there's kind of these in between that you yeah, you can't to move to the next spot unless you beat that. Yeah. And it'll... Yeah, it was the kind of kind of an annoying mechanic. You, got, you just end up racing through that stage anyway, so they're kind of like yeah. a wasted stage. But they make you play make them every time. Fire. It's like okay. Yeah. Anyway, we'll start with the first stage. Oh, yeah. yeah, like we said, he's got two two attacks. He's got a jump move, no jump jump. Like that. He's got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like far in the corner. The L one or R one but... And I, I, I have this memory of there being like an RPG element where I feel like you level up some of your hair got a bit faster. And it's very, very cool as it goes in that sense of like, it's the red, the red armor. Do you want to just keep standing in one spot and letting it all spawn, or do you want to get the hell out of there kind of thing? Make that kind of. That judgment call to him. Okay, if I stay here, then it's gonna be morning. Shoot. Oh. Ah. Eat it. Eat it. So, yeah, the enemies just keep exploring. The way you engage them, you can suffer. Yeah. You suffer. Yeah. You boss. Yeah. You suffer. Yeah. You boss. Eventually, as a 
Yeah, and a lot of the, um, uh, I think it's faster to come down, but, you know, not, not every boss plays the back. Like some you have to reflect the back, sometimes it's just, you know, the first boss throwing the air at them. <laughs> Yeah, so this is in between stage we're talking about, where it's just, uh, we kind of discovered that it was just better to blast and get through it. The amount of enemies they throw at you is just insane. Of a stage. Uh, a very cool stage, but far out. There's this mechanic where his jumping is just a bit floaty and, he, and they haven't kind of allowed you to touch the very edge of the platform. So they get they either the middle of the platform or you fall off. Like they don't they don't kind of regard the very edge of the platform as being safe jump. Um, which makes for annoying platforms. They're just throwing jet dolls at you. Which adds to the frustration. Some of the jumps you visually you think, yeah, he can make that jump. And but in reality, can't make that jump, so you have to take the, the safe route. Anyway. Yeah. And then you hit the house that just made you fall oh, all the way back down. Yeah. I uh, finally left it free. Free. Taking a death and then. Full health bar. Yeah, and you sort of have to keep travelling up because he travels up. And but um, mm, I know, remember I sort of had this strategy. Where I thought oh, I'll just I'll just hang in a corner and he won't be able to get me down there. But uh, it was a forward three steps back kind of momentum, and, and you've got to be constantly fighting that. that uh, yeah, that in between stage to look forward to. Uh, so delays. You just want to have another quick crack at it, but all of a sudden, and like this is boss number two. So, <laughs> um, I guess. This is like a puzzle. Jesus! Though. Just now, and now they become like hectic. Oh, look at this! You just go. Wait, 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 wait. I'm actually going to try to pull the bottom. Ah! Oh, I'm actually going to go all the way to the bottom. You know what? Fuck it. I don't even care. I don't care. That's right, I'm going all the way to the bottom. I don't care. What? 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 I guess the jump. I'm, I'm literally touching the grass. I'm touching the grass. I'm touching the grass. Come on, man. Come on, man. Look at that. So even with patience, there's a bit of luck. And then your projectile will miss it. You know, like, oh, down I go. I mean, suck, my Jesus! It's raining in the game and it's raining outside. <laughs> it's raining in my heart right it's now. Around it's around sound, right? <laughs> and now you finally get here and you're like, oh, I got to the boss fight. I've got two hits, great. You know, like, what's that gonna do? Yeah. Oh, he can't do his jacket throw when he's standing down. That's a good shit. What is he doing? Is that what he's doing? That's when you charge up the, uh, charge up the. Okay. <laughs> And then he's gone. And now I'm left with one hit. You know, literally one hit. Uh, which will happen when I jump into a projectile off the screen. So. Off the screen, hit, bang, dead. Ah, fuck you, man. Whew! Okay, so we've been playing 36 minutes. We're stuck on the second boss. So. 
Yeah, you're getting a vibe. You're getting a vibe for this game. We swear we have beaten this boss before. We're not retards. We have done this before. 